Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 16th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you our space weather update. As well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun as we've got no major solar flares or coronal mass ejections to report. Just some quiet imagery of our sun and an active cresting into view sunspot region you can see on the left-hand side firing away. And as well, notable large plasma filament. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. This is where I was talking about active sunspot regions getting ready to crest into view. Lots of action on the backside. We've seen multiple coronal mass ejections, ejections on the backside of our sun. Large plasma filament on the right-hand side there still has not destabilized or let go. You have to keep an eye on that. Showing here the activity the last 48 hours, equatorial regions, and as well connection with that plasma filament in the southeast region. And then active fiery sunspot regions coming in. As right now, we only have four Earth-facing sunspots. But we do have a coronal hole as well that is turning away. Another one cresting into view. And there's that plasma filament dance. We're going to get a closer look at that. Amazing images here. Multi-spectrum. Brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for watching, taking time out of your day to stay aware and prepared. Amazing images here of our sun. Smack that like if you enjoy all these images and information shared. 171 angstroms here. This is where we can see our heliosphere in action and as well the fiery sunspot regions. Right now we have four that are earth facing. By this time next week, we'll probably have over a dozen. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts still. Expected high frequency radios. Solar winds are coming in at 382 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing uh, minor M-class solar flare, strong C-class solar flare. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity is low. Having a look here, a Space Weather Prediction Center showing the most recent coronal mass ejection heading our way. Expected arrival tonight and into tomorrow, but it's going to go underneath of us. This was Space Prediction Spiral showing backside CME. And as well, lots of energy swirling around our sun right now. Active sunspot regions on the other side of our sun. Now let's get to earthquakes as we're still seeing some pretty low numbers. But we're starting to see these deep earthquakes come back. Starting here with most recent 4.4 earthquake. Bonin Islands region, Japan. 492 kilometer depth. Just north there, 5.0. Northern Japan. And deep earthquakes here, Lavuka, Fiji, 537 kilometer depth. That's the deepest past 24 hours. Hawaii, quieting down considering they had that 4.3 the other day. Sumatra, northern Indonesia, 4.7s. Here's the largest earthquake the past 24 hours. Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 5.2 magnitude. 4.5 earthquake here, Atacama, Chile. And then Veracruz, Antigua, and Barbuda. Codrington, 4.8, 4.5. Lots of activity all around Puerto Rico. Caribbean Plate seems to be a hot spot right now. All the earthquakes that we've seen recently, I hope it's over, but I don't think it is. Notable earthquakes here, Pleasanton, Texas. Continuing minor swarm, but it is located close to a fracking region. Missouri, 3.2 and a 2.8. Fontana, California, 3.5. A 
largest across North American soil. Heads up, my friends and family. Pretty deep earthquakes we've seen the last 24 hours and peculiar, re uh, peculiar regions. Deep one, South America, Chile, Fiji, and as well, Indonesia. Notable earthquakes here right across the, the Arabian Plate and into the Eurasia Plate. Watch for something big here, possibly in the long range. Hopefully Mount Etna and volcanoes in the region can help release the pressure that our planet is under. We're seeing increased seismicity through the North Atlantic and across the Mediterranean. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by the active and erupting 69 volcanoes across the planet. No new volcanoes to report today. Big plumes coming out of eastern Russia and as well Mexico swirling up into North American high pressure ridge and notable there SO2 pouring out of Kilauea this week. Big pluffs, big puffs of sulfur dioxide emissions. Overlooking Australia, Indonesia still has that big plume from the Luatobi volcanic eruptions last week. Things seem to be quieting down through the Central Africa region in the Congo. Other than that, overlooking South America and Europe, no new major plumes to report. Just some regular plumes coming from 69 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Now let's have a look at world weather as we still have quite the weather system forecast here for Europe. Long range forecast, high pressure ridge is going to settle in for the next few days. But then watch as these systems come in from the North Atlantic. Long range forecast, Ireland, the United Kingdom. You guys are going to get pounded here in the long range. Very strong, low pressure system. Look at the size of this North Atlantic beast. It's going to start making landfall here Thursday. The 21st into the 22nd. Near hurricane force winds and a lot of moisture and a lot of cold temps. That seems to be the reoccurring pattern right now across the northern hemisphere. Large low pressure systems, extreme wind and cold temperatures. As the polar vortex is set up, ready for winter 2024. Are you ready? Extreme weather breaking out across the central United States this week. Heads up. Stay safe, everybody. Major system moving into the BC coastline here. This looks like a hurricane coming in. Next Monday into Tuesday, right up into Vancouver. Low pressure system through the Canadian prairies. It's going to bring some snow across the prairies. And snow will pile up in parts of Alberta. Upsloping snows. Multiple lows. Long-range forecast, this does not look good. Big Canadian blizzard there in the long range over the Hudson Bay. Overlooking Australia, Africa, Southeast Asia. We've got, of course, Typhoon Pepito or Minyi, Minyi which is raking across the Philippines tonight as we speak. And then we'll be heading towards Thailand. Long-range forecast. Spring weather moving into Australia and some twin cyclones here developing along the equator in the Indian Ocean. Very peculiar weather patterns are unfolding heading into winter 2024. I want to thank you all for tuning in and subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. 82,000 followers strong. Let's see if we can get to 85,000 by Christmas. Much love, everybody. Now, let's have a look at our upper-level winds depicting our polar vortex. And we've got some very strong winds and signatures of a northern polar vortex. Nine upper-level winds in some areas there in the white are upwards of 250 to 300 kilometers per hour. 
I showed this a couple weeks ago and the strong winds were in the southern hemisphere. And now that we're here, pretty close to autumn, pretty close to winter. This is our polar vortex. Now let's just have a look at our jet streams in the northern hemisphere. As we've got some very large low pressure systems spinning around our planet right now. Today's forecast is definitely a strange one. That's all I can say. And it's set to get stranger and stranger as we head in to the winter months. Massive low pressure systems, maintaining velocity and veracity. Welcome to the new mini ice age. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now.